If you have a few scraps of metal laying around and a pair of pliers, you just might be able to turn that scrap into a piece of jewelry you, and that you can be proud of. Our own Sherelle Moore shows us how in this week's In Focus. This is um, woven wire weaving and it's just kind of wrapping and weaving and you get kind of a little, a little texture. You may need a hammer, a few pretty stones, or even a blowtorch. Or you can scratch all of that and start with some $5 wire and a pair of pliers. Education has been, become so easy now with YouTube. So a lot of our information come, came from YouTube videos uh, and just books and helping each other along. This is Deb Carson. She's been into jewelry making for a few decades now. I went to school in Bemidji and uh, the public high school had a very good art teacher, Millie Wardell, and she was not afraid of doing anything. So she had painting and drawing and all of that. She also taught jewelry making and so as high school students we did um, silver casting, we did soldering, we did uh, you know all kinds of different jewelry techniques. Deb continued learning different techniques in college and even incorporated some of them into her own art classes. She says anyone can make an accessory from pre-kindergarten to the elderly. All you need to do is tap into your creative mindset and not be afraid to make mistakes. That's the beauty of anything that you hand make is that you put your own ideas and your own uh, selections and your own aesthetics into it and, um, and, and you end up with something that's very, very much you, very personal and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Deb's class today made a pair of earrings and a chain and you'll see that none of them look the same. No matter what their earrings look like in the end, the best part is they got to be creative together. The further along you get and the more you enjoy doing it, invest in better tools. But start simply, you know, with a few, a few things that you, that you like um, and you'll find more that you need and find a couple of friends to do it with you and find good YouTube videos to share with each other, good books to share with each other. Reporting in Bagley with this week's In Focus, Shaw Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.